In this demonstration, we look at configuring the Exchange Server Connector within System Center Configuration Manager. This will then allow us to manage our ActiveSync devices via Config Manager rather than managing them through our Exchange Admin Center. So what I've done here is I've come into my Config Manager console. I've come to the Administration Workspace. I've then got the Exchange Server Connectors under the Hierarchy Configuration node. We'll right click and we'll now add an Exchange Server in order to set up our connector. We'll just specify the URL of the server. I'm going to specify that as http colon forward slash forward slash on hyphen ex one dot datum dot com. And then what we could do here is we could specify individually the Exchange Client Access Server because that's what the clients actually connect to in Exchange. We can also specify as well, now this is a radio, we can also specify as well hosted Exchange Server instead of on premise Exchange Server. Config Manager site to run the Exchange Connector will be S01. What we'll do with the account, we will use the computer account at the site server for our connector. Down at the bottom here, we can specify an account for sending notifications, and this will be used for any notifications sent to email clients that are blocked by, for example, Intune. So we'll select Next. In the case of the discovery, specify how to find these mobile devices that we want to manage. So what we'll do here is we'll do a full synchronization every day, and what we'll do is we'll do a delta synchronization every 240 minutes. We'll ignore mobile devices that are not for more than 180 days. They may have been lost or stolen. And we will find all mobile devices within all organizational units or containers. In the case of the settings, this is where we can modify exactly what will be pushed out by Config Manager. So in the general settings here, we will allow internet sharing, computer synchronization, and mobile devices that can be provisioned. And we refresh this every, let's make that every 12 hours. Then what we'll do in the password, we will specify a password, so it is required. We'll go for four characters minimum. We'll specify 30 days in the case of the password expiration in days. We'll remember the last 12 passwords. Number of failed login attempts, we'll drop that down to five before the device is wiped. Idle time before it is locked, we'll make that 30. We'll stick with a pin, but we could go for a strong password and that would allow us to specify things like the maximum number of complex characters. So we'll just drop that back to a pin. We will allow a simple password, but we won't allow password recovery. And as you can see, these are now changing to configured by Config Manager. We'll go for email management. All we'll do here is we'll prepare it to pop and IMAP, but we'll allow maximum time to keep email and calendar to all. Direct push when roaming, we'll prohibit that just to cut down on roaming costs. We'll allow all message formats. We won't limit the size of any email messages or attachments. In the case of security, what we'll do here is we'll allow remote desktop, removal storage, turn off the camera, I think, because that takes up storage space when they're taking photos. Um, we'll allow everything else, I think. And we'll have all storage as encrypted, but we will turn off SMS and MMS messaging. And finally, just in the case of applications, we'll just prohibit everything that's not signed. Select our next button, read the summary, select next. Select close. Next thing to do here is just set up some access rules. So we'll highlight our connector, go to our properties. So just on the general page, use the Exchange Server connector to manage mobile devices that connect an Exchange Server. Got the information that we put in place as part of the wizard. If we go for the account, you can see here that we're specifying the computer account. Discovery, so it's got all the discovery settings. It's also got the settings as well for either Active Sync managed by Exchange or Config Manager. Now the tab that we didn't have when we ran through the wizard is the Access Rules tab. So if we click on this, now what we'll do here is we'll configure access rules to control which mobile devices can access our Exchange server. It's telling us here when we do use Config Manager server to manage Active Sync, Config Manager will remove Exchange Active Sync access settings defined by the Exchange server administrator and enforce the settings that we defined here. So we need to talk to our Exchange Administrator, and at this point here we'll say yes. Next thing we'll do is we'll click Create. And what we've got here is this is very similar to what we can do in Exchange Admin Center through our mobile tab. So what we've got here is we can allow access, we can block access, or we can quarantine. So when a user does try to connect their device, what they'll do is they'll either be allowed, blocked, or quarantined, depending on if we have any other rules in place. So if we click the pros button, so what we could do at this point here, if we had any discovered device families, we could put them in place. 
And oh, we've also got device model as well, so we could specify the device model. Now, because I don't have anything in the database, can't create this access rule, but as you can see, this could come in quite useful. So at this point here, all we'll do, we'll select cancel, and finally down at the bottom, we can specify the notification email. So send administrators a notification when the device is quarantined, and then what we can do is we can look at the reports that come in, and then decide whether or not a user's device will be allowed to attach, yes or no. And that's the end of this demonstration of creating our Exchange Server Connector properties. Thank you.